Hi, everybody. I don't have a hunt to upload this week since, well, it's New England and we've been having a lot of snow. I actually did go out to the beach last weekend. Unfortunately, it was so cold that my cell phone froze after just digging two targets. I went up again yesterday and pretty much dug nothing but trash. I do have footage. I may throw together a video, but it was pretty much all trashed and a couple of zinc pennies. I'd like to start this video with a huge shout out to Starry's Lost and Found. Uh, you've sent several subscribers my way and it's very appreciated, uh, especially being a new channel. It's very difficult to get the ball rolling. So thank you very much. This video is to show how I determine the date on the 10 yen Japanese coin that I found last month. The Japanese coins don't use our numbering system. It's based off the year of the reign of whatever emperors in power at the time. So looking at this coin, the first two symbols stand for the emperor. In this case, it's Showa Hirohito. Um, forgive me if I'm mispronouncing it, but his reign started in 1926. So what we have to do is do a little bit of math on the next few symbols and then determine which year of his reign it was. So the next three symbols are three different numbers. I know it's different depending on how many symbols there are. If there's only one symbol, it's just that number. Um, for example, if the number was two, it would be the second year of the emperor's reign. In this case, it has three symbols. So we have to look at the next three characters, multiply the first two, and then add the last one onto it. In this case, the first symbol is a four. The second symbol a 10. And the third symbol is a two. So we multiply 10 times four and add the two, so we get 42. So it's the 42nd year of the reign. The final symbol just stands for date. So in this case, we add 41 to 1926 and come up with 1967. Uh, the reason we don't add the full 42 is because 1926 would be the first year of the reign. So if that number was a one, you wouldn't add one to the 1926 because it is the part of that year. So we subtract one from whatever number we came up with and add that to the year that he took power in. I'm far from an expert on this. So if I am incorrect, please let me know in the comments below and thank you everybody for watching. Hope you guys have a great day and get out there and dig.